day really is about to be. What a hell of a day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. My name is Tom and I film every weekday of my life and share it with your faces. I have probably got one of the craziest 24 hours of my life coming up. There's so much to do, so much I just cannot wait to share. So to that, I say, be sure to leave a like rating, make sure you're subscribed, and welcome to the vlog. Today is really set to be a good day. It is 8 a.m. on the dot, and in less than 30 minutes, I need to be out of this house. And the timer starts now. Well, let's go ahead and select some swagger. Very nice. Select the ability to be able to see in HD. Grab the keys. Grab some grub to go, thanking you. Bounce me out of here. In the beast heading east. And hopefully we'll make it to our destination in due time. We did. And it's time for me to blow your mind with the world's cheapest parking rates. 20p for an hour. But all right, I am sick of being bullied about this barnet. So we've got before and after. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Time to grab a coffee to go. Gotta be said, Gladstone's like spiced vanilla latte is out of this world. If you're ever in Staley Bridge, grab one. And if you're ever in the vicinity of this woman, panic, hide, and run at all costs. What do you say? Yeah, what's that? Stop it, Mum. Now, it truly is a shock to me that Syndicate Original is even open today, because this day right here marks the beginning of my birthday bonanza. It is going to be epic, and it's going to be insane. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. This boy is coming. And on a scale of 1 to 10, without spoiling everything, how much are you looking forward to it? 10. There's a 10. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm so excited. But that's not the reason I'm here. Go on. I need two BLTs. He hit me! What time is it? Though? What, what do you say? 12 o'clock. No, it's 11.15. Open your restaurant. He hit me! He hit me! Someone, help! Get me two BLTs now or I'm suing. <laughs> Come on, get in the shed. I'll give you a back rub and we'll get it, we'll get it going. We'll get it going. This is shenanigans. Get the grills fired up. I'll do it myself. Yeah, that's not happening. Looks like I'm going to the G-Cross Bakery instead. Well, you're going to be my friend, right? <laughs> Wait, are you holding a knife? Yeah, I'm going to go. See you later. Why is everyone so aggressive today? <laughs> do you know the muffin man? Yeah, G-Cross is full of mass murderers. We've had the, the Moors murderers, Harold Shipman. I know. Keep are you next? Mm. Well, on a lighter note, lunch has arrived for the workers. Two BLTs. It came with a punch and a knife threat, but it is here for you. And this is what you call doing business. I asked mum to turn this t-shirt into a tank top. So from what I'm wearing now to a trimmed out tank top. Oh yeah, what do you know about those farmer's line tans? Yeah, I'm going to have to work on that on this holiday, but oh, I love it. It's perfect. I just literally watched that clip back and I didn't realise how bad that timeline is. I look like a refresher lolly. Just think how proud your mum would be. Look at her. What a woman. My beautiful grandma. Think how proud she would be as she was a seamstress and you're taking after her at Syndicate Original. She'd be, like, she'd be turning in the grave. Why? She'd me cutting material with not a proper... With a shitty pair of Don't be things. stupid. I'm just going to be soppy for a moment. I so wish she was here to see what we've achieved. Maybe not the mess of Syndicate Original, but what we've achieved as a family company is insane. Mum, high five. Oh, maybe shouldn't oh, be doing that with scissors. Are, no, we're there. It's only because we've got 7,000 tracksuits. Right. And about that lampshade, though. I tell you what, it is hot in England. Craig, Joe, Nino, are we sure we want to go away? Uh, it, it, this is unreal. I was going to say, it might be like 22 degrees here or 23 degrees, but where we're going, what is it, 30? 30, 30? 30 plus. 34, maybe. <sighs> Hopefully I can sort out these arms sometime soon because I look like a weirdo. Right, fam alarm. This boy is bouncing because I've got a lot of stuff to do. Honey, I'm home. Of which I'm expecting no response because Lydia's at work. But I have a debt to pay. And it is to myself. And it's to make that bed. Kind of had to rush out the house this morning. Turns out it was actually half an hour early. So I could have done it. But as I always say, how do you expect to take over the world if you can't even make your bed? To war the bed is made and we shall claim victory of this day. I tell you what, we will actually claim victory of this day because I cannot believe how good this weather is. England definitely has the most bipolar weather I've ever seen. But as it is, not complaining. Now that that's done, I can complete the rest of my morning routine, which is sit-ups and yet again, another shower. Now don't be like, come on Tom, why are you having two in one day? Listen, I don't know if you do this, but if I ever have a haircut, I need a shower afterwards. Otherwise, I'm just itchy. So with that sorted, it's time to get styled. Oh yeah. And now for the important part. It's time to pack. Are you ready? 
Tank tops. Toothbrush toothpaste. Socks and boxers. Swim shorts. Smelly stuffs. Sliders. Some shirts. Some shorts. And some jorts. Some jeans. And a belt. And just in case, some shirts. And now for the magic trick of putting all that into that. Oh yeah, the travel tips with Tom are about to come out in full force now. Always try and take hand luggage wherever you're going. That way you're less likely to lose it and ruin your holiday. And if you're wondering, Tom, why is this out over here? Well, it's time for a travel tip. Always try and keep a travel bag because then you can bang it all in before. Whoop, nearly forgot these guys. Triple check everything you're putting in isn't over 100 mil. You can get perfect travel size items from places like Tesco. As you can tell, I've been taking stock. Play Tetris to fit it all in. Toss it in your travel bag, but don't put it in your luggage. Keep it to the side and I'll explain why. When you're storming through security, the last thing you want to do is be picking your massive bag up, opening it up, taking something out of it. Instead, you want to put that straight through the scanner and then with your backpack, with your electronics, your laptop, any whatever, you want to put it in that. Because then you're just doing a one-stop shop to remove everything. Trust me, if everyone did this, we would all save so much time at airport security. It also goes without saying, before you pack your bag, make sure you haven't got any liquids in, like a spare drink in the side pockets or anything. Because trust me, even though I think I'm a smooth sailing operator when it comes to security at airports, I use this bag as my go bag on my day-to-day -day basis, and sometimes I fall privy to leaving a drink or two in the side pockets. So when you're grabbing it to get it ready, check it first. But all right, that was step one. That's your bulk bag. Now for your backpack. This is going to consist of everything on your trip you could possibly need at a moment's notice. Now, obviously, this is going to be different for every single person, but for me, I'm going to need a laptop, charger, multi-purpose plug socket with USBs, power pack, power pack, power pack, and one more power pack, because you always need the juice. Go Pro Go bag with spare battery, an additional GoPro Go bag with every cable and plug I could possibly need. Oakley's, of course. A pen and paper, because trust me, you never know when you need it. GoPro diving mask, goggles, GoPro chest mount, GoPro tripod, jobby tripod for my phone, toiletries, tennis ball, because why not? And last but not least, Ron's watch, because I take it everywhere I travel. Now, if you want to go 200 IQ, I highly recommend, if you have an iPhone, to take air tags. But let's be brief, if someone's going to nick all this, it's gone. But if you're worried about losing it, leaving it at the airport or something like that, putting an air tag in your bag is so unbelievably useful, or even in your luggage, that you can track it and find it in a moment's notice. Honestly, worth its weight in gold. And just like that, the bag's packed and we're on to a winner. But don't forget, keep the things you need to grab ASAP at the top. I'm talking sunglasses, charger pack, that sort of thing. And there you have it, Tom's travel tips. Oh, 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 one sec, I'm missing a little bit of spice from my backpack. And that is a brand new Syndicate original cap, so I can bang it on in a moment's notice. And then all I need is my phone, my wallet and my passport and everything else we can get on the way. And to quickly just clarify that statement, because wow, is it got me some serious backlash in the past. The whole point of saying that isn't to be like, oh, because you've got money, you can just buy it all again if you lose it. Like if you lose all this, that is going to suck and ruin your holiday. And it's something my dad taught me. Like as long as you've got those three things, you've got the ability to still travel around. You've got the ability to contact family, friends, a bank, a, to get a loan, to get some cash sent to you, to allow you to carry on on the journey that you're actually going on or to at least get home from where you're at. Like those three things are the most important thing on your trip. It's not about having clash, cash to splash. It's about to get you out of the situation that you're currently in. All right, that concludes all the travel tips with Tom. If you did enjoy it, leave a like rating. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because as we're going to go traveling on this trip, if there's some more tips and tricks I can give you, I'll be sure to do it. Like waiting at the bloody airport gate. Don't stand up if it's not your turn. Oh, <sighs> Right, I think I've got about three hours before I need to leave. I'm turning up to some tunes, of uh, which I'm going to go ahead and pause because of copyright. And tell you about something that I got from the Trafford Centre yesterday, which I completely forgot to vlog. But before I show it, I've got a clip I need to roll. This is going to be so random, but thanks to you guys, more so. Blake, yesterday's vlog would have been live if he wouldn't have just reminded me. My bad. So again, shout out to Blake. Because I went ahead and picked myself up one of these JBL big ass boom boxes. And I tell you something, what a piece of kit. It lasts for 15 hours. It's waterproof and you can carry it like a handbag. Not sure why the handbag was the most impressive thing there, but whatever. Where we're going, there's going to be lots of water. So I'm hoping this comes in clutch. This is not sponsored, even though I feel like I've seen lots of people doing sponsored videos with this. But I'm just Tom. And I like to try things out, so I'll give it a review whilst I'm away. And tell you if all these influencers are full of shit or telling the truth. But you know what? The amount of times you guys see Kevin in the actual vlog, he's always in his vivarium. So I thought, you know what? We'll get him out and take him for a little stroll. So let's get him in the sunshine and see how the boy enjoys it. And what a shot. He's absolutely shat himself. Not even kidding, because he can see a plane going over. And when he can see a plane, he thinks it's a predator. So look at him running away. People think chameleons are slow. They're not. They're actually incredibly fast. What are you doing? All right, Kevin, he's found his highest point of where he's going to get comfy. And look who he's going to wave on home. Honey, I'm home. Hello. 
<laughs> Quick, get ready, we've got to go. Meanwhile, this guy is just absolutely loving getting about. Look at his colours, man. Oh my gosh, Kevin. Oh my gosh, you're so bright and beautiful. Go on. Yay. And you know what's mad? It's my birthday tomorrow. Therefore, it's yours because you're going to believe it. You're going to be two years old. What a dude. And why, why are you puffing out? What are you doing? Calm down. He's trying to make himself as big as possible because I think he sees a fret. And I'm not kidding. I genuinely think that he thinks this is a fret, a little pop figure. It's not real, Kevin. Calm down, dear. It's just a toy. All right, back to watching the vlog. All right, Orion seems to have smashed it. My bag's at the ready. I've now tried to pull off the super squeeze, which is fitting this speaker inside this bag. And I think it might work. No shot, that actually works. That full speaker in that backpack. Absolutely brilliant. Look at me. I look like the guy, the kid from up just going on my adventures. Do -do -do -do. I was actually going to try and take this full new tripod that I got as well. But to be fair, I've got a small little grill amount in the back, so I think I'll be fine with that. But that's bag one and bag two. And I'd say we're ready to go and it's going to be a smooth start, but I've already tried to order an Uber on my phone and Lydia's and it's already said, oops, problem, failed, try again later. So I've ordered a taxi. It said it's going to be 15 minutes. So that's going to be a sketchy uh, pushing it moment. Because uh, we fly at like six o'clock. But when is it a Life of Tom video until we're leaving things till the very last minute? And oh, would you look at that? You look ready. And is that the sound of a car I hear outside? Yeah. All right, come, come, come. And to everyone asking, by the way, what happens with Kev like when I go away, Lydia's mum comes and stays at the house and takes care of the animals. So with that said, let's go. Next stop, traffic jam on the motorway. Oh dear, oh dear. And it says, vehicle fire slowdown. This one's broken down, but that must mean there's another one. I'm hoping everyone's okay. Uh oh, oh, we've got a traffic officer. What's this? Look at it, Wait, Tom. what, where? That. What? Oh my, what? Oh my God, no, I just saw two bike tires on the side. I was like, we stopped because of bike tires. The okay. guy must have, the guy's bike must have burned down on the back of the car and he took his tyres off. Bloody hell! Really go taxi driver, go! There's a 15 quid tip in it! Let's go! Get us to Terminal 3! <laughs> and this entire scenario right now is why you don't check bags. Collie McRae, race driver here, thank you so much. Well, we're not, we're not sure if we're going to make it yet, but... might say this is why you set off. Oh yeah, that is it. That's, that's, that's a true point you've got right there. But we are at the airport. We've got our boarding passes. We've got our bags. And we've got a fast pass to be able to get through. So fingers crossed we can just go whoop. Don't you go fucking anywhere, all right? Oh, there's people boarding. Oh dear. Can you guys just wait a minute? Hey, I weren't being a tight ass. It turns out it was 20 quid tip there, yeah, lad. Take it. 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 Thank you so much. Go, 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 go. What a taxi, man. And can I say, Terminal 3, we meet again and we're zooming okay we're now in the fast track which i'm not sure how fast it's going but we'll pray Ooh. mine breeze through security whereas lydia's not so much oh dear oh I, I, i'm not mad in the slightest lydia's bag's got checked and it's because she's got one of my birthday presents in a bag and it's wrapped up and they're wondering what it is but all right we keep her going we may have some good news, which in any other circumstance would be shit. But oh my gosh, are we actually delayed? Oh my gosh. I've never been so happy. It's his first airport trip and it's going down smoothly. <laughs> um, I'm actually hoping that the delay we've got for 20 minutes now isn't a bigger issue because usually on the flight thing, it's like boarding, delayed or, you know, whatever. It says on every single flight from now till midnight, relax. And I don't know that's because like World War III is about to get announced when everything's cancelled. Think of the content, think of the content. But you know what? We've got a beer on the way and a pizza. Ooh. And that is what you call service. Less than nine minutes later, I've got a beer and a pizza. <laughs> There's still no update with what's happening with our flight. But I have got a happy Lydia. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> digging into a food and this could have been such a bad scenario like if the flight was on time we wouldn't have had any food i wouldn't have had a beer and 
my vlog is hopefully gonna be uploaded on time. It's doing the checks and I'm crossing my fingers. Now, we've actually been told the gates are closing and we need to run and Lydia's just topping up a water real quick. Go, 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 go. How are we rushing again? I, I don't get it. Just another day in the life of Tom and hey, look who we found. No way, he's fast asleep. But for how long? I don't know, but now we're actually in the real queue. And trust me, I'm tempted. Go on then. <sighs> Cheers. And down into the dungeons we go. And we're one step closer. There's Arlo! Oh, look at that. That's so cute. Wait, what the heck? I swear that pilot's got his window open. <laughs> what a day. I, I cannot believe we're about to get on this plane. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> We've made it on the plane and look who's in front of us. Hey, Ray. Hey. You know what? I don't even think I've said where we're actually going yet. I guess they'll have to find out. But before I film any flying whatsoever, this is Aloe's first flying. <laughs> hey, little dude, you're excited. Trust me, we're going to go on so many little holidays together, okay? So many holidays. I love how we appreciate him, but Hi. determining in the next 20 minutes when we set off, Hi. I'm not sure the other like 200 people on this flight will. Wait a minute, what? He's got toys built in and everything. Yes, the boy. <laughs> no way. Nah, I'm not having this. I just realized there was a guy photobombing in the background. Ryan, put a screenshot of his face there, dead big and dead wide. Sam, now that I know your name, get back yourself. <laughs> Have we just looked out? Free seats, brawling out, yeah? Oh, wait, I've just said like, we, we, we are absolutely winning because we've got three chairs. Why? Are you invading? Get my space. Ah! The things you do for your woman. Oh dear, we've been on the plane for 45 minutes and we have issues. I'm not quite sure what it is, but we've got something. That's to say the least. Wait, if we actually would have set off in time, we would have been landing by now. Almost. Almost. And apparently, I think the, the poop holder on the plane was supposed to be emptied but it hasn't been, so they won't let us get up and use the toilets whilst we're waiting. Everyone keeps pressing the button to see if they can go and use the bathroom, and they're like, no, that's the issue. The poop is at max capacity. Oh man, this is getting bad. This guy's getting fuming with everyone. You could say this is a shit situation. Way. What, what are you doing? Have you just given up all hope? Hey, hey, no, don't do that. You're a responsible mother now, piss off. Get off. I think I'd rather have the child kicking off than you, go away. Oh my god. Oh, what what is even happening right now? What is life? I look up and there's just a bunch of toesy woesies in my face. You like me? What are you doing up here? You enjoy your first ever Ryanair flight, trust me. It's always like this. It's always like this. Something always goes wrong. Something always goes wrong. He is so cute. But he is ready to cry at like He's usually going to bed in 50. A flick of a finger. Yeah again, another baby passed off to us. Sorry, but I fail to understand how you're doing on this this on me. Alice. You've got your own set of seats. You've got a spare one. I'll pay extra for it. <laughs> no, is this, is this for all the stress at the Syndicate Original? I'm sorry, I'll never do it again. No, but really though, what are you actually doing, Alice? This is a, <laughs> this is a... in my bag. What, why are you doing it on me? Just do it on your own lap. Don't look at me like that. Just another day in the life of John. <laughs> don't, don't forget to leave a like, rate, and subscribe, and enjoy Sing the vlog. Ding that bell. <laughs> Are we sure we're not serving alcohol? Because I could really do with some right about now. Do what am I doing? Put, put him in it? Oh, fucking heck. We'll do this with the power of editing. Boom. Ah, there you go. There, look at that. The baby's now changed. When I say that was traumatic, let me just say that was... Okay. Slightly stressful. But he's just absolutely big chilling. He's got his Philadelphia cheese. And it's chilling. <laughs> it's like a little monkey. Oh. Nearly two hours later, we're about to go. Time for a time lapse. Look at that view. 
<laughs> How are you enjoying your first flight? How are you enjoying your first flight? Mum and Dad, you having fun? <laughs> We've somehow gained the little critter. He didn't want the fluffy bunny. He took the bag of monster bunch. It is exploding. That is about to explode at any moment. Honestly, this is the best baby I've ever seen on a plane, ever. And it's, it's his first time flying. Oh, thank you. Ta. Thank you. <laughs> There's no way you can pick that. <gasps> How can you pick that up? How have you got the strength to do that? <laughs> well, if he's having a drink, I'm having a drink. An hour later, the trolley has arrived. They've run out of cold beers. The baby's sleeping. It's black outside. But that mood is looking beautiful. And your boy is finally got a whiskey. And a warm Coke. And no ice in a cup. Let's go, Ryanair. And cheers. To turning 30 in an hour. Whee! And we are landing into our destination. Oh, Bravo 6, going down. The only thing you can see is this massive engine. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. You can see part of the, the, the local town. But I didn't want to give too much away. But we have arrived at our destination. So let's go, 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 go. But we hop off the plane and onto the bus. Lydia's enjoying getting back on the scrolling. And fingers crossed, our pickup is waiting for us. Goodbye, Ryanair. All right, let the security madness commence. And oh dear, oh dear. That does not look fun. It looks like I'm turning 30 in a security queue. That's a cool way. I've got nine minutes. I actually managed to get through security by the time I turned 30, and I was the first one out of all of them through. Wait for her. Come on, where is she? Come on, where is she? I'm at 30, I'm, I'm 30 in let's go! But realistically, we've got another hour to wait. Yeah. Come on, man. Doesn't count yet. Still got one. Still got 59 minutes left of being 30. Wait, I am perplexed. How the hell did you get through first? Wait a minute. Babies at airports just get you straight to the front. It's like, it's like key to the universe. So you just get universe? Everything. Oh my gosh. Did you really just get let straight through? Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that boob milk all over him. Oh, he's got his own little passport. No, wait, I'll say. <gasps> oh, he's wearing a hoodie. <laughs> What a sick little That's kid. Even it is, it is. Wait, he gets two pictures? Yeah. Can I just say something? You've been the best behaved baby I've ever been next to on a plane. Well done. All right, well, there's the exit. I'm hoping all we're doing is going through there and looking for someone picking us up. Yes, this is us. How you doing, man? How you doing? Tom, nice to meet you. Yeah, okay. the family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Woo, amazing. Woo. Yeah, like I was saying, I am so glad you were here. I was like worried I was gonna have to like, start ringing people and looking for you or something like that, but we've made it! Get us to the villa. Oh, we roll it in style! You're gonna do a 30th, you're gonna do it properly. <laughs> we made it. We've actually, we've actually made it! Oh my God! Don't on the wrong, forget, your steering wheel's on the wrong side. What's going on? I, I am so sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Apart from the car on fire, the two hour delay, Step one of the journey has definitely gone smooth so far. Ooh. Oh, we are winding through the hills. Yes, <laughs> we've made it to our destination. What? Oh my God. Oh no. You've done some decorations. Oh my God. Gosh, oh, oh. I just freaked out. What? Oh my gosh, this is insane. Oh, baby, did you organize this? No. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh man, this is nuts. Oh my lord, have we got enough alcohol? It looks like we might. Oh. <gasps> Oh my god, I did ask for apple sours. Oh my gosh, oh man, what the heck, man? Bloody hell. I don't know. That's a freezer. Oh, we have ice cream. I was worried if we were going to have enough alcohol. Is it enough, I think? Oh, I think it's enough as well. Flip it out, we're going to do some drinking. Is that all ours as well? Yeah. Holy shit, I don't know if I ordered enough Peronis. Um, so, yeah, rented a villa for my 30th birthday party. Yeah, yeah, no, get out of here. I don't, I don't want anything to do with you, all right? Oh my gosh.
Wow. 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 I... <laughs> Listen, when I go on holidays, like, if a company's paying for me to go away, I'm like, yeah, oh, you know, whatever, stay in a nice place or whatever, not that bothered. When I usually, like, travel, I try, try and travel as cheap as possible just so I can save my money. I just do. But this was my 30th, and you only get to do that once. But look at this for a location. Oh my goodness. That is a got. Is it a heated pool? Oh, this is going to be nice in the day. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> wow. Oh, I know you can't see anything in the pitch black, but look at that view. This is nice, nice. This is really nice. Do you think we're going to be fighting for uh, sun lounges in the morning? <laughs> Wow. Oh my gosh. Suits you, sir. Oh, we've got we've got less than 20 minutes until I'm officially 30 in England. I want to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have you picked your room? Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. I just electrocuted your child. Sorry, buddy. I told you this is about to be the wildest vlog. If you think this is mad, Wait until you see, not even what's going on tomorrow, wait until you see what's going on on Saturday. Are you trying to just look over my shoulder, bro? All right, so this is our side? Do we have an entire side? Yeah. What? <gasps> what? No. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. The person who helped organize it was like, make sure you go around and film everything. So that came off, that wasn't me, all right? I didn't throw no raging party. Oh my gosh. Wow, we've got our own outside little section. The pool. Wow, this is a vibe, man. I can't wait to see this in the daytime. Oh my goodness, wow. Oh, it would've been better for me to actually showcase this with the, the lights on. But uh, at least at least our guests, when they enter, can just see us <laughs> lay in bed. <laughs> hey guys, nice to see you. How are you doing? Yeah, luckily there's a blind up there, but this is so nice. Oh my gosh. Now, unfortunately, because the lighting outside is like, you know, it's, it's pitch black, it's like, it's, it, it, it's quarter to one in the morning here. Um, there's a lot of it that I can't show you. So in tomorrow's vlog, I will do a full like house tour of this place. So make sure you leave a like right if you're excited for that. But what I can show you now, mom, if we go into the kitchen, which I didn't even notice before, there's a staircase going down. What is even this about? What? This is, it goes down again. Nah, what the heck? I feel like I'm going into some sort of weird sex dungeon. What? No way. Yes. Everything on this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. DJ set up, bar. Oh my gosh. Gym. Cinema. There's a cinema? What? I can't believe this. This is insane. You know you want to get on those decks. You know, oh, come on. How did you not come prepared? Look at this. Wait, there's another room? What? How does this house just keep going? This is bizarre. We've got a toilet. Is this a shower or something like that? Oh, it's, a, it's two toilets. Shh. Watch out, case. I'm coming for you, actually. Watch out, Vic Star. Get those bastard eyebrows away from me. Hey, get me a cold beer. 11, 11 minutes until I'm 30. <laughs> Let's go. Bro, you hit, you basically hit the nail on the head. Six million euros, this house. What's my size? Yeah. You're working in real estate? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I told you he works in real estate. <laughs> it's why he drives a Ferrari. <laughs> Have you seen how much backup alcohol we've got? Is this live? Yeah. This is all ours. Everything you see in the house that is drinkable is ours. I know it seems mad for a six million euro house, but I was like, do they have speakers that I can connect to at all? And of course they've got Sonos built in everywhere. I, I brought a portable speaker to a house of this magnitude because I was worried. <laughs> that won't be able to play music. Uh, I'm, I'm truly just, I'm just gobsmacked. I'm gobsmacked that we've managed to pull this off and get here. This is just absolutely amazing. And just wait, because I've got like, 26 friends coming to party it up 
here tomorrow, being Friday, Saturday, where we've got something else <laughs> epic planned. And when I say epic, I mean epic, 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 epic. And then Sunday, we're out. Wow. <sighs> Are you diving in? <laughs> Go, Carl! Go, Carl! Go, go, go! <laughs> yeah? Oh, I'm getting in. Do you want to know one of the maddest things is as well? This is just our... We've only just arrived. Tomorrow is our chill day at the villa. Oh, well. Mate, it's just going to be... Well, I, I don't know if it's going to be a chill day at the villa, but then Saturday, bro... I don't think you guys are ready for Saturday's vlog. Which, by the way, will get, get uploaded on the Monday, so... Cal, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh. Yeah, bro. It, right? Yeah, bro. Niner, niner, sixty niner, bro. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Honestly, I don't know why, but I just, I just thought everything was going to fucking fall apart. The car on fire, the flight delayed. I didn't think we were going to make it here, man. I did not think we were going to make it here in the slightest. No way. Look at us now, bro. Look at us this, now. This we made it. <laughs> we fucking made it. So, Mum, have I picked a good location? Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. We agree, Mr. Grige? Fantastic. <laughs> I, I cannot wait to show you guys this in the daytime. I, I, I know. I, 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 mate, I'm legally blind in the nighttime. I can't see shit. I cannot wait to see. I will give you guys like a full MTV crib style vlog tomorrow so you can see everything because like, there's just so many parts of this villa like down there that you just can't even see. But I tell you what, man, I'm 30. Uh, okay, so the reason why my mum's saying that is because, again, I was born at 2.30. 2.30? I was born at 2.30 a.m. p.m. in the UK. Uh, so I am still technically 29. I've not actually been on this planet for an entire 30 years, according to Karen. Yes, the Grige. Yes, the boy. Yes, the girls. But viewers, I'm going to take a moment to say... Will you just look at that view? Oh my God. Hey, and whilst I'm saying to everyone, will you just look at that view of the house? Look at this view of your little boy, chilling upstairs, passed out. Hey, let me get my beer. I would never eat them. Can we cheers to Arlo for being a top bloke on the plane? Top boy. Sack being 30 to Arlo. To Arlo. In a month. Wait, when's he 11 months? No, like 26. So you've got three In three days, days he's 11 months old? Yeah, so on Monday. Monday. Dilly dilly. Beautiful. Please exit the pool and head to the hot tub. Apparently it's warmer than the pool, so we're going in there. Can we clarify what actually warm is? Oh, it's well warmer than the pool. I wonder if it's just warm because Nino pissed in it. No way. So, Mum, you know like how you say to me like, No! I don't need a new laptop. Oh, actually, no, you were okay with a new laptop. No. no, I don't need a rumba hoover. Get a rumba hoover away from me at all costs. Are you okay with the plan I've put on for this weekend? It's lovely, but you shouldn't have spent so much money. <laughs> well, can you believe it? It is actually half past two in the morning. I've been 30 for an hour and a half in England. No, you're not. We're loving did she just walk into the door? No, we no, we Wait, what did she do? Oh, Wait, go on. Bringing me down. Damn, the window washer needs a needs a bonus. Yeah, she almost she almost walked into the glass because she thought it was open. I gotta say this right now. I have to end this vlog at some point eventually. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I am now thirty. No, you but don't. this is <laughs> shut up, Mom. I am thirty tomorrow at two thirty. So at two thirty on the twenty third of June, I will indeed be thirty years old. But this has been a travel vlog and then some from bloody flaming cars to late planes to everything. We're going to hit the hay. We're going to wake up in the morning. We're going to party hard. My friends are flying in and it's going to be just a mad, mad experience. I'm so stoked to see how it pans out. And like I said, Friday is just the tip of the iceberg as to what happens on Saturday. So I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have enjoyed it, do me a favor, click that subscribe button, ding on the notification bell, and leave a like rating. This is not something I casually do and just do for the 
sake of it every weekend or something, you're only 30 once. And this is why we've got to do it in style. So to that, I say cheers. Thank you for everything. I'm going to love you. I'm going to love you. And until next time, much love and say adios. Oh my God, dude. Is that the real car? It is, my friend. Oh my God. What are you doing Jeez, here? that light is bright. <laughs> give, me, give me a word of inspiration. You know what, mate? Life is hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. right? But the measure of the man is how you come through those tough times. Because tough times never last. Oh. Only tough people last. Oh. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Inspirational. <laughs>